think I have to sneeze. No, we're good. Okay. Hello, and welcome to Is That the Tequila Talking with me, Ingrid Andrus, where I would normally answer your questions that you send me. Um, but today is Cinco de Mayo. And according to studies, only 22% of Americans know what Cinco de Mayo is. The other 78% are drunk and filled with guacamole. So let's join the other 22%. Drunk and educated. That is a margarita. Ooh. So let's start with the basics. Cinco de Mayo in Spanish literally means the 5th of May. Very exciting. There are many misconceptions that Cinco de Mayo is Mexico's Independence Day, but it's not. Their Independence Day is actually September 16th. So, use that little pearl of wisdom at your next cocktail party. Just kidding! You can't have a cocktail party because COVID. The real celebration of Cinco de Mayo is the Mexican army defeating Napoleon III in the Battle of Puebla on May 5th, 1862. So we're not even a part of this. We kind of just invited ourselves to the party like a popular kid who thinks everybody likes them. Mexico actually doesn't celebrate Cinco de Mayo as much as we do. Classic us, just finding any excuse we can to get drunk excessively. <laughs> America was just like, you had me at margaritas, let's party. We did the same thing with St. Patrick's Day. Who's St. Patrick? Who cares? Let's get drunk. Or Columbus Day. Like Christopher may or may not have discovered America. Amazing, let's drink. Or Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is to honor St. Valentine. Shh, stop talking, I'm getting drunk and eating chocolate. So basically what I'm gathering is that Cinco de Mayo is basically just us celebrating Mexican culture, which is beautiful. Especially since a certain somebody who lives in a house that is white is not very fond of them. Somebody get that man a taco. And a margarita. 